stuff, homies. I'm back at uh, my skate spot. It's uh, these hills here coming around, but I'm not doing any skating today. I just want to talk to you guys real quick, do a little bit of training. So as you can tell by the title, uh, I got the best job ever. Officially a pro parkour athlete. Semi-officially. Uh, I'm a parkour teacher now at Tataru's Gymnastics. So that's pretty much a dream come true for me. I, I always thought teaching was something I would do much later in life after I went pro. But uh, here I am teaching. So I, I run a kids class right now, showing them how to do stuff and have fun, just enjoying uh, getting better at things. But I'm hoping to get a, a larger age group as well so I can teach in my real mojo. Anyway, I do that once a week and uh, that's today that I'll be doing that. So uh, I also get to go to open gyms for free as a result. So. My parkour gang and game is back on. Trying to see what I can become, work on the things I'm not great at, and uh, honestly just make all my dreams come true like I always wanted to. Anyway, that's for later on today. Right now I said uh, I'm just back at this spot, so there is another cool little thing I want to show you. This. It really ain't much. It's just a, a wall and a ledge with a grass landing. Nothing important. <laughs> no, it really isn't too much though, but I'm just gonna set this camera down somewhere and have a little bit of free play, do some light training. Maybe get some Webster's and aerial twists off of this if I can, and uh, just enjoy some time. I got about an hour here to just do my thing, so I'm gonna get moving. Something I just now realized is that I found what I've been dying of having. A wall with grass. A flat brick wall with grass. This is what I've been looking for for fucking forever, dude. This is really a, a great find for me. Using this, I can get on my wall tricks out here. So I'm gonna work on that a little bit. It's been a long time, so I'm gonna definitely crash, but I'm gonna try. Not bad. I only got one beef with this wall. Is that there's a lower like brick that sticks out. I don't want to get used to cheating and grabbing that. Actually on second thought, it's not a bad thing at all. Because it allows me to actually mentally train. Put my hands up higher on the wall. The only thing that ever goes wrong doing wall spins is if you go too low, trying to cheat the flip. All right, I'm seeing a line come together. If I can find a spot to front flip down here and then do the wall spin, we'll be in the money. So I'm gonna have to come between these cars here, flip down here, stand up for the wall spin here. And that should be no problem. I mean, I'm sure I won't get it first try, but I think this is a doable line. First line I ever did with a wall flip in it. I'm pretty proud of my progress so far. Question is, what angle will I record at so you guys can see everything?
I'm really glad I was able to do that without really thinking about it, hesitating, just kind of did it. Proof that my confidence and abilities are in fact going up again. And it's really good to hear. Free running is what I always wanted to do, but I was so scared of messing with obstacles and walls. So it's nice to really feel my body moving through space. I'm gonna do that exact line again, but with you guys in my mouth, so you can see what I see. Attempt number two. I'm gonna keep drilling that till it gets uh, even better. Also, I know I cheat my front flips to the side so I can see the floor and know where my landing is. And I don't mind keeping that, but I wanna try to reduce it at least a tiny bit. It's a fun jump though. I don't get these very often. Glad these wall spins are coming along. <clears throat> it counts, <laughs> it counts. <laughs> Come on, man. Problem solved. <clears throat> Best one yet. Switch back to the chest cam. There's three things I want to work on right now. I'm going to try to do Webster's while I step off of this instead of just going over it. That it might throw me off a bit, but I can pull it off easy. And then uh, aerial twist, if I can get an aerial twist off this ledge and also with this thing, that'd be great. And uh, maybe fuck around with some wall flips if I can. Step two, aerial twist on floor. Not with these shoes. Now on to messing with wall flips. All right, here's the deal with wall flips. On a, I get scared of them no matter where I do them. Slanted wall, straight wall is worse, of course. But they're hypothetically very easy to do. And in fact, when I do them, uh, on a sloped wall at least, they turn out great, like super great. So there's only a few things to consider here. One, I'm pretty cold into it, although I feel confident in the way I can move right now that I could pull this off. But I feel like these are not the right shoes for it. They're completely flat. They have no grip at all. So I'd have to restart basically. Try doing it over the side before I go for a full flip. But I at least want to mess around and see what happens. This is a great spot. Glad I found it. This is what I needed. Alright, so I basically got it right now. Those are as close as you can get without actually doing it. Only problem is when you go to like tell yourself to actually do it, that's when you get psyched out. So this whole time I've been tricking myself into going farther. But now when it comes to being deliberate, as always, it's much harder. But I'm really close and I could have this today. call that for right now but I got some officially I got a great spot to train them send the things is back in business expect more very soon I love you this is exactly what I needed in my life thank you Knoxville thank you for everything everywhere always great see you around